I have been married at this July, as of July, I will have been married 25 years, which I know, I think that's pretty good for just two marriages. <laughs> still, we're together. We've got uh, 15 years going strong. I think because we like to still get out there, do things together that make us fight. Because <laughs> all this stuff that used to be romantic now makes us fight. That's how it works. Like, we, we went married canoeing for the first time with an engaged couple. Now, they were in the engaged canoe. It was wonderful, apparently. He's in the back steering, she's up front spotting for rugs. Left, honey, no more left. All right, my little navigator bunny. <laughs> and they would hit a rock. Like, that was my fault. Oh, it was my fault. You were so awesome. You are more awesome. They would hit a rock and actually argue over who was more awesome. And then they would make out. Sick. Fish for puking. That was the engaged canoe trip. They were in the love boat, you know. We were in the Titanic. Married canoe trip? Left. To your left. We gotta go left, moron. Have you forgotten left from right? Have you ever known the difference? Have you been guessing for 40 years? Then we get the canoe in the water. So engaged canoeing was foreplay. Married canoeing was two hours of staring at the back of her nagging skull. And down at my paddle and then back at her skull. Uh, you should have worn a helmet. When the married canoe hits a rock, you're gonna kill us both! You got it half right. <laughs> it was an accident officer. Canoe flipped over, she hit her head on a rock. 17 times. So if you're married, you both, you both understand that impulse to hit or kill, but you don't. You don't hit or kill. And that is married love. That's all the proof you need when you're married. Do you still love me, baby? You woke up, didn't you? <laughs> they actually say after you become a couple, you become emotional opposites. Did you know this? The stuff, this is your instinct. When your partner gets angry or upset, your instinct is to try to calm them down by acting calmer. And it backfires. <laughs> It makes them the only angry person in the room. Now they feel angry and crazy. Which makes them angrier. So you act calmer to calm them down. Then they get angry and maybe you say, oh, maybe we should just calm down a bit. And then maybe someone dies. And you say that. You go the opposite direction emotionally in a crisis. That's your instinct. So what you really should do if you want to use that when they get angry, you should not act calm to calm them down. If they're angry, you should act twice as angry. <laughs> you see, like, let's say he's driving. It's a guy, he's tailgating someone in the fast lane because they're slow, but he's angry. If you say, calm down, that makes it worse, right? But if you say, stop screwing around and run him off the road already. Just run him off the road. He's asking for it. The golf clubs are in the trunk. You can beat him in the hospital. I'll watch for cops. Let's kill this guy. See? See, and then he will say, uh, maybe we should just calm down. Maybe one of us needs to be an adult. See? 